Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this short video, we're going to look at how you can use your Garmin Phoenix Outdoor GPS watch or something like an Instinct Garmin watch to display an Ordnance Survey grid reference to then cross-refer with your Ordnance Survey paper map when in Great Britain. The example I'm using today is a Phoenix 7X watch along with an Ordnance Survey land ranger map. The first thing we need to do is on our GPS watch make sure we've got it set for British National Grid. When you get the watch in from Garmin you will find it's normally set to one of the default longitude and latitude grid reference format settings. So in Great Britain we use British National Grid with our Ordnance Survey maps. Obviously if you're in a different country you would set up your watch to suit the grid system for the map that you're using. So the first thing I'm going to do on on the watch is to show you the settings. I've already got this set as British National Grid but I'm just going to show you where you go to do that. So on the Phoenix 7 and on an Instinct watch you have the same button, menu button to go into settings which is the middle left hand button. I'm just going to hold that in and now I go into the settings screen and I'm just going to use the up or down buttons. It scrolls in a continuous loop so the up and down buttons on the side. We're looking for the option that says system. So I've got system on the screen now, so the top right hand OK or start stop button will take me into system settings. I'm then going to use my down button, the bottom left hand button, and just scroll down till I see the option format. Might look slightly different depending on what watch you've got, but we're looking for the setting that says format. Press the start stop OK button. This is where you can change units of measure, your pace and speed. Day of the week we're looking for the option that says position format so I'm going to press the start stop button and you can see at the top mine says format British grid datum ordnance survey GB so I've actually got this watch already changed now where it says format you would press your start stop button and then more than likely if you've taken the watch out of the box from Garmin it's going to be set as one of these HDD, the longitude and latitude settings. When you scroll down using your down button you've got various grid systems for different countries. We want the one that says British grid. Press the start stop button. We've now got it set as British grid and I'm going to use the back button here just to come back out of there and the back button once more to come back. And you can see I'm still in the settings, so just one more. I'm now back to where it says system. Now, now that I'm still in the settings, we're going to go back into system and look for an option called hotkeys. The reason we do that is you can actually set up one of the buttons on your unit so that when you hold a button in, it'll display the grid reference for speed. We tend to use the start stop button for this. So if I actually just go back into the system settings. I'll just let the camera focus there. So where it says system, I'm just going to press the start stop button. So I'm back into system where we were before and I'm just going to keep using the down button until I see the option that says hot keys. This, this lets you set up certain buttons to do certain functions. So where it says hot keys, press the start stop and you can see I've got hold start save location. So where it says hold start if I press the start stop button this is where you get the options by scrolling up and down of what holding in the start stop button does. So you've actually got to hold the button in a few seconds to do this. So loads of options on the Phoenix 7X here but what I want it set as is the one that I just had before which is the save location so I'm just keep pressing the down button depending on your watch you'll have different choices and I want the option that says save location press the start stop to save that so it now says hold start save location so I keep pressing the back button now to come right back out so if you've got a satellite signal with your watch what you'll find when you've set up that hot key to save location and you've set your watch as British National Grid when I'm outside hiking and walking, trail running press the start stop button but hold it in so you keep it held in it's not a simple single press which you normally do to start an activity you hold it in you can see on the screen here I've got displayed a British National Grid reference a BNG means British National Grid 
The first five numbers are my Eastings as you go along the map. Second five numbers are my Northings as you go up the map. The letters NU, that is my map sheet number. So I'm just going to cross refer that on a map now. It's also got my elevation data as well. Now you do get the option to save this as a grid reference, as a waypoint by using the top right hand button. But I can simply hit the back button to come out of here. I've got the little red cross at the bottom which would cancel it. So I'll just hold the start stop in again to get that on the screen. So we'll just show you on a paper map now. So I've got an Ordnance Survey. It's one of the pink Land Ranger maps that covers the area that we're in. And if I just go to the top of the map and just let this focus, you'll see in the top I've got these blue letters NU. I've actually got NT as we go this way on the map. So it's telling you this map is split. So you need to be careful. Sometimes your map may cover different sheet areas. So it's telling me anything over to the right is NU. And I'm just going to turn the map over. So I know roughly where we are. If you're walking with your map, you'll have an idea as you're moving the map um, sort of area in. But when you want to pinpoint it more precisely, we've got our numbers as we go along the map against the grid squares, the one kilometre squares. So these are our, our Eastings. And then as we go up the map, we've got our Northings. So what we do on the Garmin watch, where it gives us a 10 figure reference, we take the first three numbers off the first three line. And on my watch, I'll just bring it in focus again. Let you have a look at the watch. We've got 059 as the first three numbers. So we know it's NU, so I know which side of the map I want to be on. So if I look at 059 first, what we're looking for on the map is box 5, which is the 05. These one kilometre square boxes are split into 10. So just roughly, 9 is going to be virtually all the way across. So we know we're going to be virtually to the end of box 5 before 6 starts. So that's my first reference. And then the second number we had on the watch, I'll just bring it into focus again and let that focus in. So the second line is 01694. So we're just going to concentrate on the first three numbers the 016. So we want box 01 as we go up the map. So 01 and again 6 is going to be just above halfway because the box is split into 5. So if I've got 01 about halfway and then we had the 05 about 3 quarters of the way up. Sorry 3 quarters of the way along should I say. It's got us pinpointed just by the river here in Rothbury. Um, just next to the bridge, which is actually where we're based and where I'm sitting at the minute with a signal on the windowsill for my watch. So it's just giving you a quick idea on how you can use your compatible Garmin watch by changing the format settings to Ordnance Survey British Grid and then cross-referring with a map by setting up a hotkey on your watch to display a grid reference. If I don't want to save this grid reference, I'll just press the back button to come out of here. If you purchase a GPS watch from GPS Training, we have loads of training videos on our online course that cover the Phoenix 7 range and the Instinct 1 and 2 watches that you get included as part of your purchase for a year. Access to our online training course full of loads more training videos that cover things like this. But we hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.